Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Good evening. Good evening. Good I'd evening. like to invite you for a short prayer. Let's close our eyes and talk to our Lord. Dear Lord, I invite you into my heart. Teach me the way to love. Teach me to love. Teach me to love sending you and the following your law. Help me to move a spirituality that is focused only on the commandment to one which is focused on loving you. Help me to move away from doing the least required of me to wanting to give above and beyond the minimum because I love you. As you said, when two or three are gathered in your name, you shall be with us in our midst. Dear Lord, Dear Lord we will now listen to the proclamation of the Holy Gospel. I do, Father, send us your Holy Spirit with us. So we understand your message for us in this Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Pointing the greatest commandment. <clears throat> Jesus refers to the first commandment, which is love your neighbor, lo love God with all your heart. Hear, O Israel, Yema, Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. Therefore, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. That is in Deuteronomy 6, chapter 6, verses 4 to 5. Thus, the great commandment is not foreign to Jesus' hearers. It is already in their mouth. They only have to observe it. Jesus, however, points to a less known commandment and pairs it with the Shema. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 18. And the neighbor is not just a fellow Israelite. He or she is anyone in need, as Jesus points out in the parable of the Good Samaritan, that is in Luke chapter 10. John points out that the love of neighbor is the test of the love of God. If anyone says, I love God, but hates his brother, he is a liar. For whoever does not love a brother whom he has seen cannot love God whom he has not seen. This is the commandment we have from him. Whoever loves God must also love his brother. Paul likewise summarizes all the commandments in one commandment of love of neighbor. Love does no evil to the neighbor. Hence, love is the fulfillment of the law. In Romans chapter 13, verse 10. 
what does this depth of love look like, practically speaking? It's easy for this to become a lofty thought or sermon of words, but it's challenging to let this thought or sermon become a testimony of our actions. Do you love God with your whole being, with every part of you, with every part of who you are? <clears throat> what does that mean exactly? Perhaps this depth of love will manifest itself in many ways. Entrustment of our lives to God is a requirement of love. God is perfect and therefore loving him requires that we see his perfection, understand his, his, this perfection and act in accordance with it. When we see and understand who God is, the effect is that we must trust him completely and without reserve. God is all powerful and all loving. An all powerful and all loving God must be trusted to an unlimited extent. And reflecting today upon your total love of God. Are you all in? Are you completely committed to serving our Lord and his holy will? Don't hesitate. It's worth it. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Tito Mani. Yeah. Acknowledging Father. Father <laughs> Danny. Thank you, Tita. <laughs> Thank you, Tito Mans. Good evening, po, Tita, po, Tita Lins, Tita Elmer. Good so evening, nice, Tito, Tito Ma. Father. Tito Ma. Good evening, Tita. Po. So, Tito Mani had already given us a beautiful reflection on loving God as well as on our neighbor. But perhaps the context of this is very, very hard, especially for the Israelites, because at the first glance, when the Lord said, O Yahweh commanded, to love God with all your heart is in contrast of what they were seeing where they were living before. They would see the God of the sun. They would see the God of the moon, the Lord of the God, the God of the harvest, so on and so forth. So much so that when Yahweh asked them really to love God with all their heart, with all their soul, to a God that they could not see, then it becomes truly a challenge, difficult challenge as such that invites so much faith on the part of the people of Israel. So much so that even those have been formulated that went through around 600 plus, 624, so on and so forth. But the more people would see the laws and the more they would like to live it, ultimately these are laws that would govern their lives that lead even to sinfulness because if they could not follow the law, then it becomes a transgression. In Jesus' time, he had summarized it simply in two beautiful languages, perhaps not easy, but very challenging, but all the more it still asks for faith. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. In short, love the Lord with all your being, from head to toes, to, to, from toes to head, all of it should be in accord with the love of God. Our minds, our thoughts should have in consonance with what we are beating in our heart, as well as in what we are saying, with what our hands would do, and where our feet would lead us. So much so that all of which would always say for the greatest consolation of Jesus. So much so that we do things to honor the Lord, to praise the Lord, to love the Lord. And with full faith that we continue our journey because we know fully well that we do things all for him. When we seek his kingdom and righteousness, it's because of love, then definitely we are for him and we belong to him. Ultimately, this love is like the love of Jesus, who up to the cross, Jesus himself loved the Father because of his intimacy with the Father. That's the love that the Lord is asking us, the love that he has for the Father, the love that he has offered himself 
the love for the mission of the father, the love that he had, that ultimately the world would know that he is with the father and the father is with him. And secondly, the beautiful language of Jesus that says, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Perhaps a question here would be, do we love ourselves? And how much do we love ourselves? When we make ourselves beautiful or handsome, then we have to make others beautiful and handsome as well. When we do something good to ourselves, then we have to do something good to others. When we fill ourselves with love, with faith, with hope, with all the goodness, then all the more, it should be our language for others. So much so that when the Lord says, love your neighbor as yourself, then the first thing is who we are. How much do we spend time for ourselves? How, what are the things we do? Because we wanted ourselves not only to appear, but in front of the Lord to be wholesome. And then that invites us as well to do what we should have for our neighbors. Although in many ways, when we love only ourselves and love, do not love our neighbors the way we do to ourselves, then it's a lying. We are called liars by the Lord because he said, how can you love me that you do not see in the neighbors that you, do, that you see and to them that you don't express what you wanted for yourself? So much of this a language of practicality. It's a language that transforms our being. It's a language that invites us to a deeper sense of life and communion. Ultimately, when Jesus is our model, then we do things to ourselves and to our neighbors because everything is done in the name of love. Amen. Amen. Lord Amen. Jesus, thank you for teaching Amen. us. Lord, Lord Jesus, thank you for teaching us. To love you and to love the Father. To love, love you and to love the Father. the Father. As being inspired by the Spirit. As, as to being, being inspired, inspired by, the Spirit. by the Spirit. Lord, you taught us the real way of love. Your Lord, Lord, you taught us the real way of love. The love that you have with the Father. The love that you have with the Father. Your faithfulness and intimacy Father. to him. Your faithfulness, your faithfulness and intimacy to him. And that's me. loving the Father. And that's loving, loving the Father. With all your soul. With all, with all your soul. With all your mind. With all your mind. With all your, mind. With, your mind. Uh, with all your heart. And with all, with all your heart. Truly a love of a son to a father. Truly the love of a son to the father. And you taught us as well. And, and you taught us as well, well. As well. To, love to love our neighbors as ourselves. To love our neighbors as ourselves. To love ourselves. Lord, your love to the Father. Lord, Lord your love, love to the Father. Is the way you love yourself. Is the way you love yourself. And the way you love the humanity. And the way you love the humanity. The you do not want that anybody should perish. You do not, you do not want, want that everybody that should perish. perish. Go astray. Go, Go astray. astray. And far from the Father. And far, and far from, from the, father. the Father. Your love for humanity and your neighbor. Your, your love, love for humanity, humanity and neighbor. your neighbor. Led you to give your life. Let you to give, to give your, your life. life all in the name of love. <clears throat> all, all in the name, name of, love. of love. Lord, in our lives. Lord, in our lives. Our lives. When we do not know how to love. When, when we, we do not, we not know, how to love. know how to love. When we put so much conditions. When, when we, we put so, so much conditions. conditions. And we have given only priorities to ourselves. And we have, and given, we have given, given only priorities to ourselves. to ourselves. We are asking for forgiveness. We are asking for forgiveness. And thank you for teaching us once more. Thank you for teaching us once more. That the greatest love is in the Father. That the greatest love is in the Father. And when we love our neighbor, 
And when we love our neighbor, it's a gauge of loving ourselves. It's a gauge of loving ourselves. Lord, in a very personal way. Lord, in a very personal way. We want always the best for ourselves. We want always the best for ourselves. The comfort and blessings. The comfort and blessings. The providence and so many others. The providence and so many others. May we do the same to our neighbors. May we do the same to our neighbors. Especially those whom we do not like so much. Especially those whom we do not like so much. And those who have hurt us. Those who have hurt us. Hurt us. In the name of love. In the name of love. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Michael, the Defender, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Healer, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, pray for us. Saint Augustine, pray for us. Saint Anthony of Padua. Pray, Pray for, for us. Saint Hannibal Maria de Francia. Pray, Pray for us. Send, O Lord. Your Lord holy apostles into your church. church. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. The Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the and Father, the Son, God. and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Good, e good evening. Wow. Good, evening. Good, evening. good evening, Father. Father. Good evening, Sitos Kitas. So, so lucky to start our day here in the U.S. with you, with your prayers and your blessings. Wow. Yeah, Thank very you, nice, Father. <laughs> very so, nice, as usual. Love neighbor as you love yourself. <laughs> love thy enemy. Love your neighbor. <laughs> love, love, love those your people enemy. who hurt you and yes. those you don't like. Yes, that's real love, and that's yes, loving neighbor. Plenty. I have to perfect that. <laughs> we have plenty of love in it. Yes, oh, oh, there were there were plenty here. Yes. So many <laughs> things. That's it. why the Lord invites us to love. Oh, oh. <laughs> Pero I so. love them in spite of that. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's the greatest <laughs> thing. <laughs> I have yet to. To learn more. <laughs> to learn for <laughs> Well, life is very learning. conditional. <laughs> life is learning. <laughs> it's an everyday struggle. Para si St. John Paul the second. When oh, uh, right, it, uh, 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 yeah, niya, uh, the binalikan niya sa nagmer... jail at uh, sa prisohan. I mean, mm -hmm. nag embrace pa sila, no? Hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Very, very genuine love. Wow. So, so from now on, I keep on embracing those people who don't like me, right? And who hurt me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, I have embraced them in my prayers. <laughs> yes, that's the, that's the starting point. The starting point. Uh, Once you do that one, you know, things would come to healing. It starts with that. It starts with that. So, it's okay. <laughs> yes, maganda lang my start. Right? You know, the realizations that we are always invited to a very challenging Christian life. Oh, After okay. all, we would like to follow the Lord. Diba? Si Lord naman sa cross, sabi niya, Father, forgive them for they not know what they are doing. The first oh, okay. words of Jesus. Hindi pag anak pa sorry ang mga tao sa kanya eh. Siya na, nag-forgive yeah. na siya kaagad. Yes, because uh -huh. forgiveness, it doesn't mean that they have to say sorry. So for, once you give forgiveness, you know, you, you give because yours is a love that is like the Lord. Tapos we, we would like to give conditions. So, dapat mag-sorry muna siya. Pero di ba, Kiara Lubick would say, if you want to offer something at the altar, uh -huh. you remember that somebody is against you, leave that gift to the altar, go back and reconcile with that person, then come and offer your gift. 
Mm. Now, very mm. challenging, hard, very hard challenging. as it is. Mm. Mm. But that's the thing well, when we would like to follow the Lord. Greatest commandments pa naman, oh. Love, yes. love your neighbor. <laughs> okay, <laughs> diba? When we make sin. ourselves beautiful or handsome, then we have to do the same for them. Ah, oh, hard. Yes. Yes. Father, <laughs> yes, Tito. Father, para ka may bato-bato sa langit, yung may tinama. Huwag <laughs> oh, magagalit. Huwag magagalit. <laughs> Hindi, pag, pag tinama may bukol. <laughs> may bukol. <laughs> pag tinamaan, may risi. <laughs> may risi. <laughs> Parma. <laughs> Ay, nako. That's very nice. So, Oh, very nice. Awesome. Uh, hey, hey. Thank you, Tito Mans. Yeah. Thank you. Man. Yeah, very nice. And thank you. Because you can see it's already chapter 22 of Matthew. Towards mm-hmm. 24, 20. 25, which is the, ano na, that is the trip to Jerusalem. Na. So giving wow. himself totally to the Lord. And wow. to the cross. Through the cross. Through the cross. Uh-oh. Wow. Okay, so continue your sharing. God be Thank with you, Father. Thank you, you Thank you very much. Take care, Father. Bye, Dave. Bye, bye, po. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. We love you. Bye, bye. Love you. So going further, I'd like to touch on the the reflections of Tito Mani and Father Danny. When he said, the question is, which is the greatest? So at that time, Jesus struggled to overcome this kind of question in his teaching and throughout his life. The question stems from the pharisaical perspective. From the Ma Parisis, which is which focuses in the laws and commandments as the only guidepost for life. The Parisis enforce a strict norm to follow everything should be done and wanted to live their lives neatly within that norm. They were centered on knowing and following the laws of God. For them, greatness was defined by following the commandments. So this, their false perfectionism blinded them to Jesus and they could not understand his law of love. So in what ways are we limited by our own perspective, tayo mismo, and unable to receive what Jesus is trying to teach us. And his first teaching that he emphasizes is love the Lord, love God. Jesus took this important question at face value and answered it directly. In fact, he elevated the conversation above the limitations of his questioners. He broke their schemes. The Pharisees were looking for a strict rules for life and Jesus invited them to magnanimity. They wanted to stay with their legalistic comfort zone, but Jesus asked them to reach beyond it, to love. Love with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. And in some other gospel, it says, with all your strength. So he invited them. in total self-giving to God. He left no opening to do the minimum. Love for God seeks to go beyond what others expect of us. If they expect for us 
to give them a hug. We give them more. We feed them. We hold their hands. The third law, uh, the third question, or the third issue that I'd like to take up. Love your neighbor as yourself. So we cannot love God if we ignore our neighbor. These two loves are often described at the two beams of the cross. The one on the horizontal is the love of neighbor and the one on the vertical is the love of God. We were thought about that since our early catechism. When we love God with all our heart, this love can't, can't help but overflow for those around us. It can't be contained in the human heart. It ripples out to extend the kingdom of God to others conversing with Christ at this moment. Let's close our eyes and meditate as we talk to God, as we talk to our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, help us to look at my own life, to examine where I stand in my love for neighbor. Where have I been holding back? Trying to do the bare minimum, which I used to, as we you normally says, but give me Lord the strength to break free and begin loving you with magnanimity. Lord, today, by your grace, I will pray for an extra 30 minutes today as my gift to you. Amen. Amen. Tita Linda, for your three points. The three pointers for today's gospel. Number one, loving God is the greatest commandment because God created the whole universe, all creatures and human beings in it. Number two, loving our neighbor is the second greatest commandment because we need to test the sincerity of our love for God. Number three, how much love do you have in your heart and home? Are you a happy and fulfilled person? Both questions are inseparably linked. Um, ponder on this truth today. Amen. 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 Tito Mani, can you help us with the closing prayer? Lord Almighty Father, help us to love you with all our, with the whole mind, with the whole heart, with the whole soul, with all our strength. Help us to love you with my, with our whole being. That love, I pray you transform us into your instrument of grace. Jesus, we trust in you. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. That ends our prayer session for this for today. And let's go back to our respective uh, prayer groups for our rosary and other devotional prayers. Good morning, good evening to all of you. Good, good evening. Good evening. Good Bye. Evening. Love you so. Bye, Bye. Tito. Bye.
ていう